The story of Hannah Anderson has taken another turn tonight. A report that a member of her own family has turned on the young kidnapped victim. Her great aunt is quoted as being disturbed by Hannah showing no grief in the wake of the murder of her mother and brother. New tonight, 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina joins us now with how pictures and postings by Hannah herself has sparked the turn. Steve. Uh, Kim, uh, the great aunt spoke only to 10 News about the troubled 16-year-old girl we see on here on her Instagram account. Things like this picture of her boyfriend uh, fixing eggs for breakfast. Uh, this is a girl who was abducted by a 40-year-old family friend who told her he had a crush on her and then murdered half the family. And you see an Instagram account with smiling faces throughout. Hannah Anderson used to call James DiMaggio Uncle Jim. Then came her kidnapping and the killings of her mother and brother this house torch to cover it up, ending a week later in Idaho when FBI sharpshooters pumped six bullets into DiMaggio and rescued Hannah. Then came a network TV appearance, relentless postings on social media, and soon the central character in this book, The River of No Return, the author quoting Hannah's great aunt, Jennifer Willis. She had just told me that she finds it disturbing how Hannah's acting. We haven't seen her grieve at all. Chelsea Hoffman noted that it's difficult for Ms. Willis. Jen, she's in a very deep state of mourning right now, and she's very, very fragile. Ms. Willis spoke with 10 News, quote, I did talk with Ms. Hoffman. My intention was not to hurt Hannah or cause her any distress, but to get more answers to so many, many questions which have not been answered. I love Hannah, and I loved my dear Tina and little fishing buddy Ethan. That's all I care to say on the matter. Last week, Hannah tweeted, my family still can't get along. WTF. I, I'm very curious as to what she meant because this was before Jen had spoken to me. There are other contradictions. These pictures of Hannah with a knee brace on different legs on the same day. One explanation she gave was that she hurt one in Idaho. The other was an old sports injury. I believe that she was faking her injury or playing it up. And bearing in mind all the online chatter, and she's actually said that she's never going on television again because she, quote, doesn't like the attention, which is absolutely strange because she's posting every single move she makes during a day on Instagram and Ask FM, including topless pictures of her boyfriend making her eggs. Kidnapping victim, witness to the death of the man who took her, a survivor when her mom and little brother are dead. These are overwhelming circumstances for everyone showing up like this on Instagram. She's 16. Steve Fiorina, 10 News.